All right, once again, the nation is chasing those multi-million dollar dreams today. In a matter of fact, a matter of hours, a new set of power numbers will be drawn this time for a whopping $815 million. That puts this drawing at the seventh largest jackpot ever. Wow, the odds of matching all six numbers is roughly one in 292 million. Now, to grasp how unlikely that is to win, here's some real-world numbers for you to compare to. The odds are not in your favor, folks. You have better odds of being struck by lightning in a given year, dying in a plane crash, giving a, a ro getting a royal flush, uh, being attacked by a shark. You have better odds of being attacked by a shark than winning this, this uh, lottery, or becoming the President of the United States than you do winning this particular pool. But it shouldn't stop you from playing, right? Everybody have hopes of winning, right? To explain this, these great odds against us is Professor Michael Wolf. Welcome back to the show, sir. He is the uh, chair of the uh, Georgia Tech's Department of Mathematics. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. All right, uh, one in 292 billion. Make sense of that number for us, how unlikely it is for us to win. <laughs> well, uh, one in 292 million. Um, so uh, it's a really big number. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's hard even for mathematicians to get their uh, heads around, but uh, I can give you a narrative for mm -hmm. it. I mean, I'll, take uh, it. I'll try to do this quickly. If, the, um, if you get on a bus from here to from Atlanta to San Francisco, mm -hmm. uh, it'll take you about three days, 60 hours to get there. Okay, so imagine you're on that bus mm -hmm. and you know, you're, you're, you're bumping along and you know the guy next to you falls asleep on your shoulder, bathroom starts to smell, days on the bus. <laughs> At some point, scream to the driver to stop. Mm. Get out of the bus, look under the front tire. If my shirt button is directly under that front tire, you win. Wow. Uh, um, yeah, if that's... it's a little bit further down the road, you don't win. If you don't see it, you don't win. Wow. So yeah, that's, you have to say stop within um, less than a millisecond of the right time, about a thousand times faster than the blink of an eye is how fast that button goes past. In, in other know, words, hard. For a whole bus trip. <laughs> in other words, hard to do. Hard to do. Very hard but to do. But we're drawn to it uh, and we want to play. How did the jackpot odds uh, come to figure that? How, how, do, how do they all figure out? Well, you gotta um, you have to choose a whole bunch of numbers, and uh, yeah, and so there's like 60, 70 numbers plus the Powerball number, um, and you have to get them all right. So you multiply the odds together of getting each one of them right. Mm. So you you're um, you're flipping a very multi-sided coin many many times and hoping to predict the answer. So that's uh, that's so it all just multiplies together when you have a lot of big numbers and you have to choose a lot of them. So it really doesn't change much your odds, or, or does it? Does it change much if you have one ticket opposed to having twenty tickets? Yeah, you have, you have about twenty better, you have about twenty times the chances of winning if you have twenty tickets. Um, each ticket, you know, you uh, you get one in three hundred million. Of, uh, of a chance of winning. Mm -hmm. So if you like, you could buy all 300 million tickets. <laughs> yeah, if you can afford that. You'd be right? guaranteed to win. <laughs> Is there a mathematical advantage in picking your own numbers versus letting a computer pick them? Do you know? No, I don't, I don't think so. Well, I would say this, that uh, um, sometimes when I do the quick picks uh, and I'll, I'll see the, the um, the numbers, sometimes they choose the same number for me in two different lines, um, and that really irritates me because that sort of lowers my chances of getting one of the smaller prizes. Hmm. Hmm. So you, you play? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you wait till it gets to a big number like this, or do you, do you play when the smaller, smaller uh, jackpots? I, I wait till it gets big and a little hype starts, and I, my kids start saying, you got to play, you got to play, because we got to get rich. All of us probably dream of winning, and, and we say, yeah. okay, if I win, then, what's your if then? Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> put away money for the, the kids, put away um, you know, uh, money for, for myself, go travel, go take care of things. I mean, I think, I mean, that's the, you ask, why do you play? I yeah. mean, so sometimes you hear this uh, discussion of, um, uh, well, is this a good financial deal? Like, I'm, well, with my $2 ticket, is it worth $3? Is it worth $1? And, and I think that kind of misses the point. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the entertainment value that we get out of that 2 bucks 
uh, that just sustains us all day long. We're going to be imagining what we're going to do with the 800 million. Uh, that's great. And, and the other part of it is that, you know, like I lose $2 or I lose $4, mm -hmm. it doesn't change my life much. Right. I get 800 million, mm. we're, we're having a very different conversation. That's absolutely right. Um, you know, I, I've, I've interviewed some winners, maybe not this big of a prize back in the day, and, and they always seem to go broke. Is there something about like, getting this big amount of money that, that causes us to just go bananas and lose it all? I have no idea. I mean, I'm a mathematician, <laughs> not, a, not a sociologist. I imagine when you, um, if you get 800 million, you'll find you have a lot more friends. Uh, right, a lot of other people, n new friends that you've never heard of locking at your door. All right, That's right, last question for you. Will you buy one, will you buy five? How, how many tickets are you gonna get? Two. Just it? I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how much cash I have in my pocket when I hit the gas station. You, you were supposed to give us better odds. You're the mathematician, so we're trying to figure out how many we should buy. Oh, um, you buy the amount that you're willing to lose. Yeah, okay. Professor Michael Wolf, really appreciate you joining us today and uh, helping us to dream and have a little bit of fun as well. Thanks a lot. Thanks right. for having me. Good luck.